notice that people easily hate you for no reason? Do you notice that people always dislike you no matter how much effort you put into any relationship, it ends up nothing? Are you into a relationship or you are working in a place and you notice that everyone there is always gossiping you? Maybe they love you and all of a sudden things started going upside down. Do you feel that you have unfriendly friends in your life? You have an enemies, enemies of progress. You know, like I always tell people, the enemy that you have is not those that will come. There are so many hidden enemies that will laugh with you, but at your back, they are more than devil in your life. When they see somebody coming to favor you, they can hinder that person from coming to favor you. They can talk all manner of things, both the one you did or the one that you have never think of, because they don't want good things to happen to you. Do you want to know your your secret enemies? Do you want your unfriendly friends to be revealed to you? But before you, before I ride on to share this assignment with you, I want to tell you a few things you are going to experience after doing this so that you don't be afraid. I say, I promise I've shared that with my friend. I promise I've done this. promise I've done this. Number one, if you're into a relationship and that relationship is not going to last good, it's not going to end up well, you'll start having misunderstanding. It's very, very, it's very, very possible that the person will just walk away tomorrow on this process. Like the person is going to pick a raise. Right, so if you are ready to take all these things, but it's for your good because this will actually mean that the person does not have a good intention towards whatever that you are doing with it. There are so many ladies, they are all in my inbox crying. I've been with this guy for 20 years, for 100 years, and all of a sudden that guy has run away and he developed hatred. That guy did not develop hatred now, he that thing is in his mind, even from the onset. He's just pretending just to benefit from that pleasure, from that sexual satisfaction that he's getting from you. That is why he wakes up and moves away. But more than that, when I'm trying to explain this part, you guys does not want to know because you just want it as it holds. But you never know that you cannot force nature over something. Whatever that is not yours can never be yours. There is no two ways about it and there is no shortcut in life. All right. So if you do this, I am into relationship for a long time relationship. I are hoping that this guy is going to marry. Me. Yes. If there is any energy, if there is any bad things that are preventing that from happening. All right. It's going to clear the way. And you are going to see the real person of the person that you are into relationship. Of course, the person will come and many in his or her intention known to you. That is if there is any spirit or whatever that are preventing the union to stand. But if the person naturally doesn't have a good intention, there is no two ways. The person has to move away for the good person to come. Now, you are working in a place. You notice that everyone in that firm, they all hate you for no reason. Not only that, generally, your life is all about hatred, disappointment, failures. Nothing good is ever coming to you. When you go close to somebody or people, with peace as if you have these bad odors, they will just be running away. Do this assignment for me to put a stop to all these things, right? So, in doing this assignment, what you need is lemon. Lemon. Nature is a blessing to us, right? Nature is a blessing to God. God created all these things. When you pray and use it, it works like magic for, your, for you. Now, when you get your lemon, you get a cinnamon powder, original cinnamon powder, right? When you get it, you are going to get me lemon. You are going to get lemon. Three pieces of lemon, like, like this. Three. Mm? Now, you are going to be doing this thing every night when you start doing it. First of all, you are going to cut, cut it like this. Cut the lemon into two. I'm not cutting because I want to show you. I'm using this lemon for my weight loose journey, so don't expect me to cut it. <laughs> so you cut this lemon, right? When you cut it. Now, get me that cinnamon. When you cut it, you get the two parts. Now, use the one part. Place cinnamon on it very well. Make sure the cinnamon touch on it very well. Then, you use it and scrub your two palm. Right? Use it and scrub your two palm. Now, when you do that, begin to do your palm like this. As you're saying, every of, everything in my life, even if it's in your destiny, that are bringing bad luck to you, that are bringing disappointment to you, that are bringing failure, rising and falling, long story, limitation, lack of money. You are into business, you sell market today. If you're that one that you sell did not finish, no customers will come. Did they tie the customers somewhere? Did they hit them somewhere? Those other people that are selling, are their customers not human beings as well? 
something is wrong. So whatever, be it in my destiny, be it inherited, be it projected, maybe you mistakenly committed thing that caused that. God, as I do this today, I wipe this out from my destiny, from my life. Lord, expose every enemies of my life, every unfriendly friends of my life. Whenever they see me, anyone that coming close to me with a bad intention, with bad spirit, with negative mindset, Lord, dispose that person and take the person away from you. Be doing this as you feel the hot sensation. Like I said, you do this thing in the night before you sleep. Hmm? The after doing it, now get the remaining one, the other part. Don't use the one you use in your hand on your leg. No. That's why I say you should cut it. You know, use one part on your right. Use the other part on your leg, on your foot, your two foot. Scrub it on your two foot and mash the two foot and say, God, anything, anywhere that I'm going, that always bringing bad luck to me, that always bringing negative energies around me, from today, I mash them out of my life. Everything in my entire existence that always attract me to the wrong people, that always attract me where I will end up being not appreciative, appreciated. Lord, today I just pray as I'm mashing that two foot on the floor. After that, like I said, don't clean it. Go and lie down and sleep. So actually you do this recipe when you are ready to sleep. When you are ready to sleep. So go and lie down. Now, when you wake up in the morning, before you go out, you can have your normal activity. You can have your normal bath and your makeup and all that. Now, when you come back again, another night, complete this recipe. All right? And you are going to see. By the grace of God, like I said before, after doing it, please dispose the, the lemon. Don't lick it. You know, so many of us, they will ask, Mommy, should I lick the lemon? Because I know all the water is not going <laughs> Please don't lick it, dispose it. If you want to lick lemon, go to the market and buy lemon. That particular one you've used to suck that energy out. That particular one you used to, to remove that energy, please don't drink. Hmm? Just dispose it. Then complete doing this assignment for three days. Like I said, then after three days, wash out. Like I said, you start losing friends. Any friend that is around you. Because you know, say there are some friends, maybe it's not them, maybe it's the spirit that is in them. But it's not as much as you are going around with this, eh? That spirit cannot go with them. You are going to be having a whole lot of misunderstanding because darkness and light cannot work in the same. Darkness and light cannot be. Negative and positive energy cannot be. Positive and negative aura cannot stay. So definitely the two parties have to give away for each other to be in peace. So when you are doing it, like I said, you there is possibilities of you losing a friend. There's a possibilities of you losing people that you never imagined in your life. But I tell you, it's for your own benefit and for your own good. So do this assignment. If you do it and you are working, they hate you in that place of work. Go there. You'll see how they're going to love you. You're going to be number one of everyone in that place. Thank you for watching. Kindly share this video. All right? I love you. Stay me from me. Bye-bye.